Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Urshi and uh, this is a Sony Vegas tutorial on how to fade in a coherent video clip uh, that is blurred. So I will show you an example right now of what that looks like. As you can see, obviously I'm not going to be showing you how to put the Sony Vegas logo in that I made there and kind of like pull it in. This is just the blurring effect so you guys can get a clear understanding of what this really is. Okay, so let's get straight into the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you the same exact clip that we were using in the beginning. So it's a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 clip. And we're going to be fading in it at the exact same time. So I remember all the measurements. So I'm just going to zoom in using the scroll wheel here and find around 10 second mark. Uh, I'm just going to kind of pan over with the little arrow keys and the keyboard. I apologize for my mechanical keyboard here. It's I know some people get annoyed by it. So we're going to have about one second. So you want to cut out the spot where uh, you're going to blur. So we're going to blur from here. So just press S to cut, uh, obviously, and delete if you want to delete something. And then we're going to try and unblur it right about five seconds here. So we don't actually need all this. Uh, we're going to make sure you have two seconds at the end, uh, at least before you unblur it or whatever you have, because I, I assume that you're going to have more video uh, during this spot. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Um, so next up, what you want to do is actually add the blur to just this clip. Now, I usually do media FX to put color correction on. Obviously, you can pick any of these and do color correction, but that's going to apply to anything that this clip is. So say even if I move this down to uh, here, it's still going to affect it. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, it's still going to affect it and it's still going to have the color correction. So we can't do that. We can't blur it that way. So the only other way that you can do it is actually right clicking and going to pan and crop. And then if you go to your video FX tab here, if you don't have that, I think you can go to view and add it right here somewhere. It should be somewhere around there. Uh, and you're just going to scroll down until you find Gaussian blur. Now, I prefer the soften. I think it's just the right amount of blur to put, add to a clip here. So as you can see, if we click here, obviously nothing's blurred. If you click here, it is blurred. Now to fade it in coherently, all you have to do is click on the clip on the side left here. So this is going to be the start. You can zoom in if you want. Make sure that that little box on the two arrows is on the left side. And all you're going to do is pull it in for about a second. If you want to do a second, you can do a second. If you want to do anything, this is going to be the time right here where these little slopes are going. That is going to be the fade in blur time. So if you see here, obviously that'll blur it in for a second. That takes a little bit too long for me. So I'm going to do half a second here. That's a little bit better for me. And for here, instead of pulling it in this way, so instead of having it uh, the little box on the arrows on the right-hand side, you're going to have it on the left-hand side again and pull it in the exact same time. Now, this is obviously very uh, easy and basic and beginner. I understand that. I couldn't find a video on this when I was first starting out Sony Vegas, so I figured I'd make one for you guys. Hopefully, this is very easy for you and entertaining. I'll play the clip right here for you guys to see. Obviously, I had a Sony Vegas thing pop up there, but that was just for the video's sakes. I may make a tutorial on that in the future. If you would like to see something like that, I could definitely do that for you. Oops, my bad. I'm sorry. Very unprofessional man now. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's that's the tutorial. Hopefully I made that very simple and sweet for you guys. Again, remember pan and crop is important here. Uh, add it to this and only this instead of media effects. So that is how you make a coherent blurred transition. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Uh, I don't know how many of these tutorials I'm going to be doing in the future. If you'd like to check out my other content, I really, really appreciate that. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.